Hey, what is up, Morales community? I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor. In today's Morales tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get the logs of a contract. We're going to use the Morales event API, which means we can get the blockchain events and display them on our app. Now let's try it out with pasting a wallet address or a contract address right there. Choose Ethereum, hit submit, and there we have the data that we're getting back from the API. We're using this get contract logs endpoint that's below or under the event API provided by Morales. And you can easily try it out here on the API by Morales. So let's paste an address right here. It's the only required parameter we need to use. In our case, we are also using the chain parameter, which is not required. By default, it's going to be Ethereum. What's cool about this is even if you want to get even more specific data, you can use these parameters such as the block number or from block and to block, which is really, really handy. Now, if you want to dive in a little bit more into specific dates, you can use the from date and to date parameters instead. And then you have lots of other parameters you can explore. Now, let's just try it out with this required one. Hit try it right here. And below, we can see the response we're getting back. I'm going to show you the logs that we're getting back in our app. And you're going to see that it looks exactly the same. And I'm going to show you how easily you can destruct this response and display the data that you choose. That sounds fun enough. Let's jump straight into the code. In here, you can see I have created a get contract logs root folder. And within that one, I have two more folders, one for front end and one for back end. Now let's open up backend and go to package JSON because I have installed four dependencies, Morales, Express, .env, and Course. And once you've done that, create the .env file in the root of your backend folder. That's where we're going to add our API key provided by Morales. So if you're not having that one yet, go to morales.io, create your free account and log in. That will take you to your admin dashboard page. Go to Web3 APIs. And here is your API key that you can copy. Go back to our code, create this variable and paste that in. Hit save and close this. Now inside index.js, that's where we're going to import our API key. But we're also going to require a few of the dependencies, actually all four of them. Express, because we want to run our express server. And here we're setting the port to 5001. We require Morales, Cores, and also .env. Now getting our API key from the .env file like this and storing it in a new variable that we're going to use further down within the start function that Morales provides us. And we're also going to start listening to our port, which means our server is now up and running. Now we only need one endpoint for this backend server, which is the slash get logs. And once we hit this endpoint, our backend server We'll do an uh, EVM API request to the get contract logs, passing along the address and the chain ID. Once we get the response, we're sending that to the front end, and that's where we'll display everything. So let's close this one up and go to the front end. Let's start with package JSON here as well. This is a Next.js application, so automatically I got some dependencies installed. Myself, I've added Axios and React Select. So in this application, our index.js file is our home page. And here we are rendering two components, the header, which contains the title and the logo, and then the main, which contains all of the logic. So let's jump into main.js. And here you can see besides styling, I've also imported use state, Axios and React Select, which we just installed. So we need React Select because we want to create beautiful and easy drop-down menus. In our case, we have three options, Ethereum, Guerli, and Mumbai. The value of these options needs to be each chain ID. So we've also added some styling to this drop-down menu. Now, once you click the drop-down menu and choose one of these networks, that's when this function runs, and then we set the state of the chain value itself which is declared up here. Now, what else is declared up here is the show result because we don't want to show anything if the user hasn't clicked submit. 
we have the result and then we also have the address once the user clicks submit that's when we run this handle submit function and we're extracting the value from the input field by selecting it with this query selector tag and it has the id of input field and then we're taking that value and storing it into address and we also have the chain value inside the state so we can we can extract this chain id which is under value right here so we're doing it like this and storing it into chain now with these two variables we can do an access request to our server on port 5001 slash get logs and pass along the address and the chain now once we get back the response from the api the backend server will send that response into our front end so let's console log that right here and see how it looks i'm going to open inspector console and see this response which is exactly the same we saw in the morales api now we can see all the logs for this contract and we can display the data that fits best for us in our case we have the date we have the block number the address and the transaction hash which is all taken from this response right here now let's close this and go back to the code and what we're doing here instead we're setting the result to with this data that we're getting back now we want to show the result so set this to true and we want to empty the input field and the drop down menu here's where we're rendering everything so below the form and the submit button we have the result section and we can take this result uh, state that we have above and map through this in order for us to display specific data for each and every object within this array and again in our case we have time we have block number we have address and transaction hash now guys it's as easy as that with just a few lines of code the morales api can give you the data that you need and you can display it however you want just add the contract address in this input field select the chain that you're interested in hit submit and then you have your data right here now i hope you enjoyed this quick video if you did hit the like button and make sure you subscribe our goal is to get this channel to at least 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year so let's make that happen guys and i hope i will see you in the next one